I'm here. You're here. Let's do this? Let's do this! Thank you so much for this draft suggestion because it is gonna be an easy one. There won't be any Wikipedia-ing, no Google, nothing of that. Just simply looking at when the player was drafted in the game. How much simpler can you get? So let's go ahead, find out which team we're going to be drafting for. It is the Detroit Red Wings. My dad would be happy about that one. You know what? I've been thinking about doing a fantasy draft with injuries on and leaving Jabroni on as well. Um, no, I haven't. Get out of here. Salary cap is on. Fantasy draft is on, of course. Head coach. Ha! <laughs> no. You know what? It actually could be kind of fun, though, to... Do a fantasy draft with injuries on. Maybe. Let's go with draft pick number 21. Can you do something for me? Let's find out if I am wrong, and I sure am. 14. So we are right near the middle of the pack. Eh. Undrafted. I mean... No, I won't do it. But it is worth noting that Brad Marchand was taken in the third round. So that is definitely in consideration here. We have Kirill... Taken fifth round. Wowzers. I forgot that Braden Point was a late pick as well. You know what? We're gonna have a squad. But I am starting with Bradley. 92 overall. Fire me up. Pointer's still there. I think I have to. 90 overall. Centerman doesn't have an X Factor, but definitely has abilities. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. And let's score some goals. We have Letang and we have Pavel. I could complete the first line, but I could also get a good defender. Or I could take Jacob Slavin, who has an X Factor, a bunch of abilities. Oh dear. This just got a whole lot harder. I'm going with Jacob. I'm just doing it. One could argue that I am doing it live. Darcy Kemper. Okay, so we have him in our back pocket. We've also got Vili Huso. Very nice. See, I don't want to go after the undrafted players because it just doesn't feel right. Well, oh, I don't know what to do here. Why does there have to always be that one extreme? I think I'm going to try to avoid it just because the point is that they were drafted after the second round. So, you know, the key word there is that they were drafted. I have a left-handed D-man, so I could pick up Chris Letang and then have the right-handed defenseman for that first pair. Ooh. You know what? This is looking nice. Zach Hyman is also still here, and he was taken in the fifth round. Yeah, okay, so there we go. Pavelski in the seventh. Guy's a playoff performer. We have Verhage. We have Chandler. I was hoping someone would be a right wing, and Pointer came in clutch. He is a center slash right winger. Shoots right. So we could take Verhage or Chandler to be on the first line. 75 face off, 78 face offs. Okay. Two way forward. They're both two way forwards. I don't know what to do here. Hmm. Let's go with Chandler just because of the 2.7. Yep, you know me dropping the ball on goalies yet again, but we have Carell to save the day. Honestly, had no idea that Jamie Benn was a fifth round pick. That's wild. Jared Spurgeon. Sixth round and he has abilities, which could help our chemistry. So I am just going to send it, I believe. Yeah, I will do that. Anders Lee, sixth round. Power forward, making 7 million at 85 overall. That hurts pretty bad. Vander Kane was fourth overall. Yeah, let's, um... Sure, why not? I feel like we've taken some picks that were responsible in terms of cap, so I think we could afford it. And we also have Killer here. 85 overall, making 4.4. And he was taken 77th. Third round. Ryan Rust, another third round player. What positions do we need? So we have... We have no right wingers at the moment. Okay, so that is definitely concerning. And on that note, I will be bringing in which one of these two? Rust is making less. Two-way forward versus a sniper. Let's get some second-line goal scoring. Actually, hold that thought. So we have Kalorn and Lee. Both just left wingers. Yeah... Whoops. All right, Cam. Add a sniper into that second line. Here we go. Gustafson, 83 overall, making 800k. Offensive defenseman, which I think should work with Spurgeon. Maybe. I don't know. Only one way to find out. 76th overall, Elvis is in the building. Boom. Adam Lowry, a centerman. 82 overall. Not bad. What's your face-offs like? 80? Okay, I'm in. Yeah, you know what? I am in. Colin Miller or threes as we know him from Be A Pro will be joining our roster. 
Boom. We are still big time lacking in the right wing department. And that doesn't change right now because I'm taking Nudavara, who is a left-handed defenseman. I believe the defenseman we just took is right-handed, hopefully. Otherwise, I'm doing it again. And I could just go check, but I'm not going to do that. How many players do we need still? Oh, you know what? We actually still need a decent amount. Yeah, okay. So I really did somehow come down on the cap space. Matthew Joseph. Perfect. 80 overall. 3 million is a bit, but you know what? We should be okay. Hopefully. Famous last words. We currently have three centers. Sunkfist making 2.7. Yeah, we could make this happen for sure. All right. There you go. We are done with centermen. Well, probably not, actually. I don't know. I'm just drafting forwards. They can play wherever. They will play where I tell them they can play. Oh my goodness, we have the cap space for it, I think. Yeah, we have to make this work. Marcus Felino, grinder. Refs hated him in the playoffs. Making that pick. And I am very happy with how this team is turning out. I can't lie. All right, we have 3.5 and we need to sign two players. So... Gotta be super careful. Nick Dow, the seventh round legend. He also has 84 face-offs. That's massive. Center slash right wing. Ideal. And now we have 2.2 to make our final pick. Lars Eller was 13th overall. Holy. Had no idea. I'm learning a lot today. Calling all players making under 2 million. Parise is a first rounder for sure. Yep. Undrafted. Okay. We could add yet another centerman. You know what? I'm gonna add Pat Maroon. I don't know why. 70 discipline. Once again, he won three Stanley Cups in a row. He can win one with us, right? I present to you your Stanley Cup winning Detroit Red Wings. It just be like that. Yeah, I'm not too sure. We'll go edit the lines and see what we got, but I still think we're going to be a playoff team for sure. Oh no. Oh no. We have roll four lines too. How are you getting nothing? That is outrageous. Our defense are going to be brutal, aren't they? No, they're not. 5-1-0. Oh. Um... Yeah, so no. I would like to point out that I did, in fact, do it again. This is impressive, honestly. But there you go. Two right-handed defense. No, he shoots left! He just is a right D. All right. You know what? I think that... Hmm. No, I'm not going to do that for the plus one. No way. I'm keeping Marchie and Point together, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Lee, Lowry, and Atkinson. Oh, boy. And then we've got Kalorn playing with Sunquist, Joseph... Felino with Dowd and Maroon. In net, we have 84 overall Corel. Merzalikens, 83. Maybe we won't be a playoff team, but I'm going to stay confident and say 44 wins and we qualify. Point gets the most points because, of course, with 80. But just going back to earlier, when I said this draft was going to be easy, I didn't mean to win. I just meant to actually pick the players, which it was. That took no time compared to some of the other ones. Oh, yeah? On a bit of a heater here. 7-2-1? and one? Oh, come on, New Yorks. I mean, we started good. And fell flat on our face. Kind of picking it back up here a little bit. I feel like if we got a different coach, our chemistry would skyrocket. Maybe the defense wouldn't, but our offensive chemistry surely would be much better. We're on a five-game win streak at the moment. Might as well make it six. How about seven? Or eight, if you will. This is outrageous. Our division also doesn't look insane right now which is good news for us. Oh, here we go. Time for a 30 game losing streak. Before we go any further, I just want to double check because they did sneak in a defenseman. Was there a forward in there I didn't catch? I think this is everybody I drafted, but I'm going to go through anyway, just to make sure that everyone is at least the third round. Yeah, we're good. Defensively, boom, fourth, third, fourth. Yeah, all good. Okay, lovely. Big couple wins in Alberta, followed by a win over the Kraken, but then we just lose. Yeah. Getting rocked as well. What do we have here? Terra Sank Show. I can't view player stats from here, can I? No. Nichushkin, I think I wanted to grab him, but I couldn't. And Freddy, uh, no. So, gonna keep our team the way it is. We're buzzing right now anyway, so I don't really want to change anything. Yeah, no, we're fine. Get me out of here. 33 wins at the trade deadline. Hopefully the post-trade deadline does not end our career which it very well might. I think we're good. Actually, division is getting pretty tight right there, so wins are crucial. Big win over the Jets. Nice. Yeah, we have to be in the playoffs. We might even win the division if we don't completely choke this. That's a division win. Come on. 47 wins. Did not see that coming. I mean, I guess to be fair, it's only three more than what I predicted, but still. 101 points. 
And we are first in the Atlantic. In the entire league, we are fifth. So, yeah, the Kraken went off. Who's on your team? You have Robertson, Hirido, and Barabanov. Oh, boy. Kachekov and Montembeau and Net. Morrissey, Larson. See, I, I don't know. Looking at this roster, no way they should have that many points, in my opinion. The top 16 teams did qualify, so that's good stuff. Love to see that. Last place is the LA Kings, and they had Lucas Raymond with Malkin and 80B. Hartman, Schmaltz, Dvorak, Kemper and Net, Hedman, Ryan. I don't know why they did so bad. I mean, actually, kind of makes sense, but still. 27 wins on the year. It would be the man, the myth, the legend, Brad Marchand leading the team. 85 points, and then we get 73 from Braden. So, he actually dominated. He was 12 points up on the next closest. Chandler had 66, so again, another gap. And then we had Atkinson, Lee, and Latang here, all with mid to low 50s. Not stellar goaltending, I can't lie. 909 save percentage, then a 904, but hey... Got the job done, evidently. In the league, we have Samsonov. Nice amount of games played. 44 wins, 9-12 save percentage, 9-13 for Gibson, and a 9-20 for Kachekov. What a year for him. Defensively, Hughes absolutely popped off. Almost reached the 90 mark. One shy. A tremendous amount of assists. Love that number. And then we have Kale McCarr, 83 points. Fox, 80. That can't be ignored either. Matthews, Pasta, and Robertson all got 103. So I have no idea how that works for the Art Ross. If they kind of split it like the Rocket Richard, which clearly Matthews won. 67 tucks. Hello? Dreisaitl was also able to breach the 100 mark. All right, the Hurricanes, the Jerks. They had 46 wins on the year, I believe. One less than us. So here we go. First round. Going past the first four games. And so far, it's looking pretty good. All right, we only need to win one more. You wouldn't dare. You honestly wouldn't dare. <laughs> oh my word. How's this happened? If we get reverse swept, I am uninstalling this game and then reinstalling it so I can make more videos. Will we have a goalless first period? We sure do. How uneventful. Come on. Uh, boring. There we go. Thanks, Cam. You legend. Nice, Sunkvist getting some depth goal scoring here. That is huge. They get one from Natchez. They brought him back to Carolina. Fair enough. I'd want to bring him back to my team too. Great hockey player. It's a one goal lead for Detroit heading into the third and final period of this game seven. Now who is going to go home and who is going to move on to round two? Um, Natchez has something to say about us moving on. So that's not good. It's a tie game. And at this point, I'm going to say it's golden goal. It's not overtime yet, but... It's about to be, yep, next goal wins. That would just be the most me thing ever, to get reverse swept. Yes! Marshy coming in clutch when we need him. The Sens also went to seven. All right, that's going to be our next matchup here. Let's go ahead, fire past the first four games. Nope, not the first game, the first four. There you go, and see where we sit. All right, sitting good again, but will they make a comeback again? No. Not even close. In the conference finals, it is the Golden Knights and the Ducks versus the Red Wings and New Jersey. First four games, let's have at it. Well, that's not good. Um, can we do it to them? That's the question. I'm going to just sim it. I'm confident we're winning. Boom. Not so confident about this one, though. Power play. No can do. Let's go, Red Wings. We need to win two, and we are into the Stanley Cup Finals. Well, that's not good. Maybe I could have looked for a goalie at the trade deadline, but I don't know. The team was just buzzing, as we still are. Chandler buries one on the power play, and we are all tied up just like that. But then O'Reilly um, clearly took exception and decided, hey, no thank you. Anders Lee, fire me up. Let's go, Matthew Joseph with a goal. And we have a one goal lead heading into period number three. We are drastically out shooting them right now. It is getting ugly. Power play for New Jersey. They can't score. We kill it off. Let's go, Sunfist. A shorty. You beautician. Game seven. Coming your way. This is for all the marbles. Whoever wins moves on to the Stanley Cup final. Whoever loses hits the links. And you know what? I've got a good feeling about this one. Okay. Nice. Gustafson with a goal. Ties it up at one. And then we get one from Spurgeon. 
Like, honestly, just fire me, North. Yes! Colin Miller threes! What is going on with our goal scoring? I'm here for it, though. Team is just working as a unit. Oh, of course. Bradley, gonna bury one, give us a three-goal lead. We're moving on to the Stanley Cup Finals. I don't even think I'm being premature. Dowd, just pile it on. Send them packing. There is no possible way that we could blow this. That might be the single most impressive thing in NHL history if we pull that off. A seventh goal, Patty Maroon on Riddick. We are moving on. Now the question is, will we be playing the Golden Knights or will we be playing the Ducks? Look at those three stars. Attaboy, Carell. It is the Golden Knights. All right, first four games. There's no way there's a sweep in the Stanley Cup final. I'm not having it. Nice. It is a best of three. Same here. Ooh, okay. The Golden Knights are one game away from winning the ultimate prize. However, we were just in this exact situation in the conference final. So, we've proven that we can get out of it. Let's see if we can do it twice. Domi scores on the power play. We've just been giving up penalties. Like, it's nobody's business right now. We get a power play. Can't capitalize. All right, not looking good. Power play, let's go! As the power play expires, Dowd scores, but then Mitch Marner decides to put the Golden Knights back up by one. Rude, but okay. Yes, Anders Lee! It is a 2-2 hockey game. Can we keep it that way going into the third? Yes, we do. It's anybody's game. It's either the Golden Knights go home with the Stanley Cup or Detroit pushes a game seven. Here we go. We gave them a five on three. And we killed it off. That's gotta be momentum. Somebody. Yes! Kalorn! Are you kidding me? No. A game seven for the Stanley Cup. And we're in it. Your three stars. Carell? You're doing great. Okay, now this is really it. This is actually for all the marbles. Whoever wins this, wins the Stanley Cup. It is one game to rule them all, and we give them a power play to start. Great job, guys. Yup. That's exactly how we want to come out of the gate. No way. Arturi Lekkinen buries one. It is two nothing Golden Knights after one. We gotta get one soon here, otherwise we might be done. Power play? That was huge. If we scored on that power play, Bradley, I don't even know what to say anymore. Just clutching it out over here. We're down by one. We're slightly out shooting them. Why are we giving up so many power plays? Let's go, Red Wings. No! Oh, you're kidding me. We have 10 minutes to tie it up, and Jacob Slavin buries one. Let's go, power play for Detroit. Oh my goodness. Yes! Foligno! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Get me in there. Get me in there. Here we go. Detroit is up by one goal with a minute. I don't even know what to say. They choked. Big time right there. Lowry battling against the boards. He is killing time. It comes back to Gustafson. Nice passing. I love it. 40 seconds remain. The Golden Knights bringing the puck up the ice. Oh no, what a headman pass to Marnsey, who does a spinorama! What a save! Carell, you absolute legend! He has been on fire this series. 18 seconds remain, big hit. Net is empty, a big hit of our own. They're coming back though, over to Domi. I almost acquired him at the trade deadline, I was just about to do it. Matheson in the middle, to Marner! Yes, Lee! Wait, what happened? Charging? Oh. Okay. This face-off is it. If Dowd can win this draw, it's over. It is over. But if he loses, they have a chance. Let's go. The Detroit Red Wings, your Stanley Cup champions, did not envision that happening. When I saw this team, and especially when I saw the chemistry, I was like, oh boy. There's a chance we might not even make the playoffs. But I decided to stick with my original prediction. And I said 44 wins and we'd be in. We ended up getting 47. And on top of that, we won the cup. Are you kidding me? Marchand, 16 points in the playoffs, gets the con Smythe. That looks so weird. Because they really did a good job on his character model. So seeing him in a Red Wings jersey doesn't work. 
but it sure does for this video because that belongs to us. We don't get to do this very often. And here we are. Go get it. Con Smythe winner and the first guy to lift up the cup. It is happening in Detroit right now. We won it at home as well. Absolutely huge. What a thing of beauty. I am not sticking around for them to pass the cup around. I cannot be bothered. But let's go! Come on, show me the message. Show me the message. I know you want to. Where? Where's the message? Announce to the league your Stanley Cup champions. Thank you. Detroit Red Wings. Rochester won the Calder. Once again, Carell did not have the best stats, but... Got the job done, regardless. Jari had a 927. Varlama with a 923. Demko, 926. They tried to carry. Slavin, I do not regret that pick at all. Leeds defenseman with 18 points. I mean, sure, Riley has one less in three less games. And then you have two less from McAvoy, who played nine less games. But we don't talk about that. Should have made it further. Marchi and Lee. 25 points from Anders Lee. I gotta draft him more often. Where'd that come from? Your Conn Smythe winner, not a big deal. 27 pims. Okay, so I found out who was taking all the penalty minutes. And you know what? I'm not as upset anymore. Because he was offsetting them with being insanely clutch. Stanley Cup champions. And there's your other team awards. Individual trophies. We already knew that Matthews got that. So I guess he just takes it. I don't know how that works. Is it the first person to get there or something? Not sure. But anyway, Pasta gets the heart. Then we have Kale McCarr taking home the Norris. Nuge with the Lady Bing. Kachekov with the Calder. Fair enough. What a year from him. Marchi gets the Colin Smythe. Kachekov with the Vesna and the Jennings. Can you imagine your first year? Absolutely ridiculous. White Cloud gets the Masterton. Ah, uh, who cares at this point? We won the Stanley Cup. So there you go. We went to seven games three times. The only team that we beat with relative ease was the Sens in round two. And other than that, it was a big struggle. But the guys pulled through. We got it done. And what a thing of beauty. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the real life playoffs right now. It's been great. Having a wonderful time watching those. And yeah, I just appreciate you so much. Um, let's aim for 10 likes on this video. And let's aim for a lesser number than 863% of you watching this not being subscribed. That's fair. On that note, I will see you soon.